Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we're talking about seasonal care. This is gonna be video number one in a series of four. Um, this is gonna be about spring, okay? So what are some things that we need to be looking at come springtime with getting our ponds running again? All right. So, whether you keep your pond running all winter or we shut it down over the winter, I shut all my ponds down over the winter, um, we'll talk about why and the reasons why I shut everything down and why I recommend doing that um, in my fourth video in this series when we talk about winter, okay? Um, but for right now, whether you keep it running all winter or you shut it down, we're both going to be facing the same things come springtime with, you know, what we need to do to prepare our pond for the season ahead, okay? So... <sighs> This is a great time to get all your filters back up to par, okay? Any filter pads, any filter media that we need to replace, we should be doing it now. Any uh, UV bulbs may want to be changed now. Um, it's a great time to do it. This way, come summertime in the height of our season, um, you know, our water doesn't turn to pea soup. So let's take care of all our maintenance issues, all our uh, plumbing issues, whatever it may be, in the early spring, okay? Now, um, this is a great time as well to test your water, okay? Let's see what's going on. Let's um, maybe do a partial water change, maybe a 25 to 30% uh, water change, and also let's look at our fish, all right? So during the winter when our fish um, are basically more dormant, right? They're, they're not as active, uh, their metabolism slows down. And when their metabolism slows down, their immune systems slow down. And they become more susceptible to different uh, pathogens such as uh, bacteria, fungi, um, and, and uh, parasites, okay? So we need to examine our fish in the spring. Let's see, do they have any uh, funguses maybe growing, cottony white uh, or green cottony things growing maybe on their mouth, on their fins, right, on their tail? Do they have any open wounds or sores on the side of their body, okay? Um, Things we need to, you know, be aware of definitely, and we're going to have to treat now, okay? Because they're very susceptible to that this time of the year. So let's do water changes, okay? It's also a good idea if we need to drain and clean the pond at this point. In my business, springtime, I'm draining and cleaning a lot of ponds. Mostly all the ponds that have rock and gravel in them, okay? Um, I did that whole video on, you know, the difference between ponds with rock and gravel and ponds with bottom drains. All my ponds have bottom drains. My ponds are really clean, okay? Um, I have no reason to drain and clean them. Maybe do a little water change is great, but otherwise that's it. But there are a lot of ponds come springtime that I need to drain and clean, and they all have all the rock and gravel and stuff in them. Um, you know, whether it's a lot of leaves that have accumulated in there over the fall and winter, uh, or it's just a lot of sediment, or it's algae growth, or it's just dirty and, you know, whatever. But springtime is the time to do all that, okay? Um, your plants are going to start growing. The water temperature is going to start increasing. Sunshine is going to be, um, you know, becoming more and more abundant. Um, you might want to start fertilizing some of your plants once you start to see them growing again. Um, feeding your fish is going to slowly start to increase as the water temperatures increase, okay? You don't want to go out, um, you know, you get one nice warm day in the spring, all of a sudden it's 65 degrees, and you go out by the pond and you see that things are, you know, your fish are starting to move around a little bit and you want to go, oh, get some food. You know, don't go throwing a whole cup full of food in, okay? Um, just be really aware of the temperature, because in the spring, the temperatures can fluctuate a lot. Could be 65 one day, could be 35 the next, all right? So be really aware of, of the temperatures. If we're going to have consistently some warmer days coming, then maybe start feeding a little bit, a little bit, if they come up and they're looking for it. 
Um, gradually, you know, increase your feeding as the water temperature gets warmer, okay? Um, just make sure that whole pond is clean, all right? Any debris, any rotting leaves, any matter around, you know, in the pond and around your pond, okay? If you have a netting that you've kept on the pond all fall and all winter and you're taking that netting off, let's make sure that there's no excess leaves or debris or garbage around the pond itself that can blow in. So let's make sure all everything, the whole area around the pond is nice and clean. The pond is clean, right? Um, and we're going to be ready to go. Um, this is a great time of the year. It's exciting. It's so nice to hear the waterfalls running again and see your fish swimming around. Sometimes in the spring, you may find that your water is really green and murky, okay? Um, starting up your filters, starting a new UV bulb, getting everything up and running again will clear the water. It may take a little extra time because the filters really have to catch up with the amount of debris and waste and, and algae and stuff that's in the pond, but it, it, it certainly uh, will clear itself up. Um, and the more you can clean those filters, right, the faster the pond will clear. So it may require a little more maintenance on your part in the early spring, cleaning your filters a little bit more than you normally would, just to get everything caught up and nice and clean and clear and healthy and ready to go. Okay? Um, that's pretty much, pretty much it. So, you know, again, it, it's a fun time. It's fun to get back out there in our ponds. Our ponds are really pretty much neglected over the winter. A lot of people don't go out to their ponds nearly as much as they do in the summer. So things really kind of get it neglected. So we need to spend a lot of time, um, you know, observing, looking at our fish, making sure there's not sick, making sure there's nothing going on, changing some of the water, freshen things up, or cleaning the pond increasing our feeding we can start fertilizing our plants once they start growing and you know getting everything back up and running again it's always exciting all right so that gives you a quick little rundown of things to be aware of and what to look at for spring um, you may also want to put a little salt in your pond in the spring it certainly won't hurt just as a little water conditioner um, but other than that hopefully Everything will be good to go, and you can enjoy, you know, the pond again. All right? Okay, perfect. So that's the first video uh, in this series of four, and I hope you check out the rest. Please hit the like button if you uh, enjoyed the video, and subscribe to my channel if you're really interested in ponds and you want to learn a lot more about them. I'm going to be doing a ton of videos on all kinds of topics. So please check it out and support my channel. I appreciate it a lot. Um, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.